I'm like Googling, how do I go live? <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, it seems girl. so easy. Um, you must have been not... Oh, man. How's it going? Uh -huh. We did it. I actually did one of these the other day and had the exact same problem. So yeah. by the end of this quarantine, I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. By the end, we'll, we'll all be experts, maybe. But yeah, I, I'm watching a lot of lives that start like, wait, wait, what is that? <laughs> it's wait, like press that. Oh, no. And then you like flip the camera. Yeah. And then it's just a disaster. Yeah. Here so we are. That went relatively smooth, honestly. Oh, good. Um, I heard you were singing. Well, I was playing this old hit that you might know. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me restart it. Do you remember the choreography? Yes. Wait. I'm, I'm trying to wait. <laughs> I think wait, I can do this. Look what I found. So I was trying to find pictures. I found this classic oh, American classic. Juniors album. So Caitlin, I got to say, you look the exact. <laughs> how is that even remotely possible i, I don't, don't get it no where am i where, where are you oh oh there's oh, right braces there the and middle. all um well the so he's not so in if, there if people oh, look we're together know. in the inside oh my gosh wow that looks like the cover of like a my fitness um or like glamour shots or yeah. something. well if people oh, don't know God. lucy and i go way back um mm -hmm. I've talked about it a bit on here if you've been watching before and if you've seen some interviews with Lucy, but we were both on a show called American Juniors. What year is it? 2003? 2000... 2003. So, so long ago. Um, but we know each other since we were like 13. Yeah. You're, you're the, definitely the only person, you and Ryan Seacrest are the only people, I just name drop Ryan Seacrest, but I do keep up with him and I, What's <laughs> up, Ryan? And I keep up with you. What's up? And you're the only person. And, I think because our families were just so tight during all that. Yeah. Now, funny enough, I'm on a show with you know, Drew. Your brother is on a TV show, and I work with Helena, yes. who plays his sister. Yes. Um, it's just a lot of small world. I know. It's small crazy. World things. We've had a and lot I of feel friends. Like, I mean, it's, it's like a, you know, they only did one season of it. It was after the first season of American Idol, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was a disaster. That's why they didn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no yeah. regrets. Maybe it was I had fun, girl. Time. I mean, I was it was my first time in LA. Was it yours? Oh yeah, for sure. Like, how did you? Well, I did pull up, and I'll play mine too. But um, I did pull up your audition. Oh, I can't wait for this. Wait, There's... let me wait. What did I? I sang. Um... Is it a Celine Dion song? Well, you, I think you sang that at one point, but this is your like official oh, like, my, sizzle audition where you were like, my on sizzle the reel. <laughs> I don't know why I just said sizzle. You just made a sizzle reel for me. I'm honored. <laughs> I made a sizzle okay. reel for this live. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't cough online. People are going to be like, oh. Okay, Lucy. Oh. Um, okay, let's hear it. Let's hear okay, it. Okay, so we're both from the South. And what yeah. I love the most about these videos is how country we are. When we talk. Oh, yes. All right, let's hear All it. All right. <laughs> All right, someone else with her weight in gold was Lucy Hale. I've been waiting. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you're singing that song. My voice is, like, really I deep. I just had my dream, but I'm doing it. Ah! And later, then hopefully my dream will come true. Ah! <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> hopefully my dream will come true. Enough I can't even remember a world where I sounded like that. Yeah. I have so many thoughts. Okay, I'll this. play mine too. Okay, then, wait. And then, okay. then I'm going to be singing. Oh, well, <laughs> mine is very monotone. Okay. Well, first to audition, Caitlin Carver. Hi, my name is Caitlin Carver. I'm 13 years old, and I'm going to be singing Can't Hurry Love. <laughs> I need love, love to ease my mind. I need to find, find someone to call my Yes, Kim. Mama said you can't hurry, love. No, my daughter is just um, the sweetest thing. She's I sweet. love Kim. I miss her. Pretty Mom. Sweet. She's just a sweet aunt. Well, I thought this was going to be shocking. No, we, ne we definitely need a cameo yeah, by Kim. Because she sets goals for a team. Okay, well, I thought... I 
Look There's at us now, okay? somewhere talking about American Juniors, and I'm like, this is just like, wow. Oh, my God. I can't remember a world where I ever sounded like that. I know. I had to take accent reduction when I moved to L.A. Me too. But that just seems that just seems like a whole other world ago. That's so wild. Like, yeah, so did you audition in Chattanooga as well? Yes, I auditioned in Chattanooga. You were in Chattanooga? Yes. Yeah, and I remember the day before the auditions, I slammed my finger in the door. So, no, 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 because those auditions were, that was like the second round, but the first round, I slammed my finger in the door. So there's somewhere on YouTube of me singing whatever I was singing with like a huge with finger big- gas. <laughs> Like, that stuff only happens to me, I swear. (laughs) Oh, my God. But, yeah, I mean, I sort of – and I don't know if you're similar, but, like, I wasn't doing anything to do with the entertainment industry, like, pursuing a career in this at all before American Juniors. I – I mean, we were so – how old were you at the time? I was – I think I was 13, 14. Um, And I remember I – it was the year after Kelly Clarkson won American Idol. Yeah. And – I mean, I mean, what kid doesn't want to grow up and be like an actor and singer? But, exactly. but, it, but I remember I saw Kelly Clarkson win and I was like, I'm doing this. I, I, I have to do this. I'm going to be the next Kelly Clarkson. I'm going to oh do it. I know, um, yes. And it was, and then sure enough, like when she won, they started showing the commercials for American Juniors. And yeah, long story short, if it weren't for American Juniors, I would not be right here because that was the first time I went to LA and then, yeah. That was when, like, acting started coming into play. So, like, totally. No, I'm exactly the same. It was, like, the first kind of brush with, like, being in Hollywood and, like, getting to do this cool thing and just be kind of plucked out of our little town. Oh, my gosh. Talk about culture shock. I know. And, like, yeah, it it totally, like, opened the door to be, like, oh, this is cool. I want to try pursuing this. Yeah. Which is just well, so weird it, to think it's, about. It's worked out, so <laughs> I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. I am. We're still it's really, <laughs> it's so interesting. So the other day I was actually looking up like where, what Taylor and Tori were doing yeah. and Danielle and yeah, just very cool. I mean, we had such a like fun experience together. Yeah. Because cause the did. thing that, about American Juniors was, which this is, this is tough to talk about for me. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Um, so instead, of, they thought it would be, like, traumatizing for kids to be voted off every week. Right. I, I agree, because yeah. it was already a whirlwind. <laughs> right. And uh, so they would vote, it, vote one person into a, like, group instead yeah. of – so each week, like, if you made it into the group, you were, like, safe, and if you didn't, you got to perform another week. So we were all together – you know, throughout the whole summer. It, it was nice because no one, like, left. I know. That was um, a fun summer. But Lucy did make it into the group, and I didn't. Um, Caitlin, which... I'm here to tell you that nothing happened with the group. <laughs> I don't so know. So you didn't miss much. I don't um, know. But we, we uh, cover, I mean, pretty I was. Sick. I remember I was so devastated when you didn't get in because <laughs> I was the closest with you. And I had a crush on AJ, which was this – this one right oh, here. AJ. I loved AJ. Uh, Melinda's. He was a heartthrob for sure. Melinda's. Yes. AJ Melinda's. <laughs> I loved him. I think we kissed once. Oh, you <laughs> I did? can't remember. I can't oh remember. My gosh. Um, and I remember my sister had a crush on your brother. Oh well, how could she not? How could she not? Drew Tars. I won't. I won't embarrass Drew by showing some old pictures of him. But oh, I've got some, say. but I couldn't find them. He was rocking. We'll save it for a, we'll save it for another day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drew was rocking. My older brother was rocking the long, beat, bleak. He was the ultimate Abercrombie and Fitch dream boat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what, what else do we have here? I, well, I, I remember after that, we both started doing, we started acting and we were both filming at Paramount. This is a, you know, LB. Oh, oh, yeah. He's so dirty. If I don't give him a bath, I'm a terrible mother. Oh, um, wow. We were both filming at Paramount because you were doing Big Time Rush and I was doing a CW show called Privilege. Yes. And so yes. we would like see each I other. Think, I know. I think lot. I have a photo of us together. Maybe on set. Oh. I'm sure you still look yeah. the same. <laughs> I feel like I have it on here. 
I tried to get stuff together, you know, to where this was going to be really <clears throat> seamless. That's all right. There but, are yeah. no rules in quarantine, Caitlin. Look. There it is. Privileged. Oh, my goodness. And I was trying to figure out what was around my neck. It's just chains. It's just a, bunch a beautiful of chains. necklace. That's good. Time. So was this pre, that was post, I don't know, because there was like a time we were hanging out all, you were probably my only friend in LA. <laughs> well, yeah, no, because like, so we did American Juniors and obviously, I mean, I, I do want to show one more clip of this group performance. Because um, <laughs> every week we would, we would do a group performance and then. I was so pissed because I don't dance and yeah. I'm like. These I mother effers are trying to make either. me dance. But they would, like, make us dance. But there was this one performance to United We Stand. <laughs> and I remember you, me, and Chantel uh, Cole uh, on the show had a big moment in this song where we were, like, all three together. And, like, I remember we were, like, not it. Yeah. I so kind of remember, like, the, the movements we had to do. I can't wait for this, actually. <laughs> Okay, so this is our big moment. <laughs> oh, yeah! We killed it! And oh I my remember gosh. that day, like, I remember in the audience, because there was a live audience, I, for some reason, I mean, I guess not. I, I, I probably know why I remember this. Uh, the whole crowd, like, gave us a big cheer on that part. Yeah, we were, like, the three teens I on mean, the show. we felt, like, so cool. Charlie's Angels. I remember yeah. there's a, and there's here's a, a Okay, here's a nice photo. Well, oh, yeah, with my eyes closed. That was a Teen Choice Awards. That was a okay, Teen Choice Awards. Okay, I remember Awards. that was the first time ever at Teen Choice Awards, which was 2003. Yeah. Um, look at Chauncey with his sunglasses. Remember <laughs> we ran into Stevie Brock? And yes. we were in love with Stevie Brock. Yes. Stevie Brock oh was gosh. a, uh, I mean, it was, um, it like was a Jess, a, for like it was like early... Jesse McCartney, him. him. We felt very cool Hillary to be included. Dove, uh, Hills. Remember, we love Hills. I remember Jessica Simpson was there, which was pretty, pretty major. Um, uh, this and week... it was the year the OC came out. So everyone from the OC was there. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty great. Here's another yeah. one that's good. That's the picture I was just talking about. Yes, this Damn. picture. Is Wait, your your, your video is covering your face. Oh, I don't know why. Or on yours, is it flipped? No, I don't. Uh, you know, well, what? for everyone know. who can't see it, she, Caitlin looks the same. She still <laughs> looks like a teenager. So, <laughs> here's the picture I put on my story of us oh, drinking. I so guess, some kind of. Good lord, I was tweezer happy. Like no, was that? I don't know if that was. Is that like an anxiety thing? I don't know. This I don't know. Bad. I feel like that was just what it was. Are we drinking daiquiris? That's what I was wondering. Early temples. <laughs> um, yeah, well, thank God the brows came back. Thank God the brows came back. Vengeance. Really the biggest glow up. Well, thank <laughs> my brows. Your brows. <laughs> These 2020 brows, biggest glow up. I'll take it. Uh, here's a nice little group pick. And I, I, I can't keep my face. I don't know how to move my face, but. You're doing it on That's purpose. pretty cute. <laughs> Oh, you know what I love to look back on on that time is all the fashion. Wow. I yeah. wore a dr I wore a full-blown dress over jeans. Yeah. Flare I mean, jeans. Everyone was doing that. I, it's just I think I think the worst fashion ever is early 2000s. It's Low so rise bad, jeans. I, I threw an early 2000s themed birthday party last year. I know it's supposed to go. And it Dead. was it really takes you right back. Like when you see people in the clothes, you're like, you're like oh my God, I'm like I'm those little me. stretchy shirts from limited Two. Yes. I was like, I'm in middle school again. This, yeah. Is, this is <laughs> tough. Um, but yeah. So like after we did American juniors, like I went back to Georgia because I was just like, you know, coming off a show like that, you have such a like momentum and you're like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, great. Like this is all going to, kick in and then I just like went back to eighth grade and was like wait like how do I do this <laughs> how do I go back to it yeah <laughs> but you ended up moving to LA pretty much right after I I went home for a year after the group that when we did an album that didn't do anything and then I started homeschooling because I actually remember like I already didn't 
love school to begin with because people were just really weird towards people who were creative. At least in my school, people didn't understand why I loved to sing or right why I love to entertain or whatever. So I was like, mom, there's no chance in hell I'm going back to school. They're going to demolish me. Right. Like, it's just not going to happen. So yeah. my mom let me uh, start homeschooling. And then shortly after that, I – I don't know how I did all this research about pilot season, which is when people go out yeah. to audition for pilots. I somehow yes. convinced my mom to move out to LA at 15. <laughs> and I still to this day ask her, I was like, how did you do that? And how did you know things would work out? And she's, <laughs> she was just like, I just knew things would work out for you. Right. I just had a gut feeling. I was like, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we moved out. Only, out I think Mama we only Hale. planned to stay. <laughs> what? Shout out Mama Hale. We love Jules. <laughs> we love her. Um, uh, yeah, and then we only planned to stay for a couple of months and been here ever since. Been here ever since. Been here ever since. <laughs> Luckily not in the same apartment. The first um, apartment we ever lived in. <gasps> was it at Oakwoods? Was it at the, the no, standard? No, this was pre-Oakwood. This oh! was... This was, we didn't have any TV, and my mom had to work during the day, so I would be alone, so I'd walk to the Starbucks and just read books all day oh for, like, a straight year. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. crazy. Um, I mean, but she's incredible. And then you, when did you, I forget, when did you move out here? So I finally moved out in 09, and I was like, okay, I know nobody except for my brother. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, oh, Lucy, hey, what's Aww. up? What do you do out here? And you were obviously very kind to hang out with me. and kind Yeah, of, it was purely out of kindness. No, not a out miserable of hang. <laughs> I, know, I mean, I was the new kid, you know, in town. And you were, I mean, I'm not saying you're like, you did it out of pity, but you were very sweet to Definitely include Definitely not me out of pity. And a lot of stuff. Definitely. like. And I pulled a couple pics from our early days. Like, this, oh, I can't uh, wait. Oh, gosh. Am I wow. my face Can again, we... huh? Well, okay. So this was. <laughs> How do I move it? This, I don't know. Oh, Maybe well. on other people. I don't know. Mm. Well, you're, you're asking the girl who really couldn't blue even eyeliner. join a live. Um, <laughs> you, I said you're asking the girl who couldn't even join a live. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this was Halloween, what? Probably that year, right? Probably 09. Yeah. Yeah. Like, cause that was at my boyfriend's house at the time. And I remember we went to the Santa Monica Halloween parade. Yes. And what were you? I was, we were prom queens. Like we were like, prom. I mean, always my go-to for like a last minute Halloween at that stage was like just an 80s, 80s girl. Yeah. Cause it was like fun and easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we were 80s girls. And, uh, I think that was a, around the time where I was like editing a lot of like blogs well, and look at you now. <laughs> this isn't a vlog, though. This is like a little talk show. I've, I've, I think I've graduated onto this. I love it. Like, we made a little YouTube video. Of I that remember night. this. Do you have it? I mean, I don't. I don't know if I have the full video, but I. Did I remember find this, when you made the video. I did find this clip <gasps> of like us trying to get takes in. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. What? Um, what did I say? You I don't you know. were like, I'm Lucy Hale. Because I was like, oh, we need to like say we our We need names. intros. Oh, wow, god. memes. Yeah, the men I mean, and then we have um what else do we have here? Surely um, you have some pics from the events that we This went to. is the I think this is the Edge this of Seventeen premiere. That's the Edge of Seventeen Zac Efron premiere movie premiere. Yes. I remember I remember exactly what I I think okay, so I'm wearing the that pleather jacket <laughs> and yes. a a purple top with a gray skirt and some tights, I think. I don't know how I remember that. I, I unfortunately I don't have the full outfit. I'm yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure that's it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was cool though. I was like, a movie that was premiere? cool. That was like prime Zac Efron time. Yeah, too. that was a pretty hot ticket. I feel like. Yeah, hot ticket. <laughs> <laughs> um, what one else? hair on I my forehead. Stuff on here, like you. I love that you have all these pictures. I, know. I have. They're all. Uh, someone goes, is Caitlyn in a cardigan? In that Probably. picture. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anything cool to wear. I was like, I think. Oh, you were always cool. Always um, cool. Always been cool. Always will be cool. Here's a great pic of us. 
This okay, looks... this is great. This Honestly, is... I think we might look really good here. I'm not, like, mad at it. I'm not <laughs> mad at it. I'm a little mad that I didn't shake my curls out. Right. But you're, you're looking very, very chic. I look older here than I do now. I mean, you've looked the same since you were eight years but old. This, it's like, never side gonna change. bang is very, like... But it looks so shiny. <laughs> but I, rem I remember this event was um, a Barbie event. But it was pretty yes. cool because they had all these vintage Barbies everywhere. I don't know. I think were they introducing a new – they're introducing a new um, – It was like a Barbie, Barbie. Like mansion or something. Yeah. Yeah. This a Barbie the same mansion. karaoke. I don't know when. Oh, I actually love that photo. This is good. We were really – In convinced. action. We were in it. I don't even know. I, I wish we could – that for us. Um, and then what else do we have here? <laughs> Where are Amanda and Drew? Oh gosh, I don't know. Out and about. I mean, uh, Drew's next. I'm not yawning because I'm, I'm yawning because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I just fully yawned on your head. <laughs> Sorry. And I, I did find She's this tired. beautiful, but it was cute. It's you at my wedding. <gasps> Oh, I loved that. Look at that. That was such yeah. a fun night. And I remember I hadn't seen you or your family in so long. And I went with Kendall Schmidt. Yeah. Who I've no also known since I was young, 15. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Amanda's fun. on the chat. She just said, I'm here, y'all. Hey, Amanda. She's not watching, but she's here. Oh, um, she's here. She's not watching. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I mean, we've. We've been, we've, through we've been through a lot formative times together. We have. <laughs> and what are you up to? You you released what was your most recent song that you re you released? It's so good. Thanks. Um, um, I put out a song called "Feel Bad." Yes, a couple weeks ago. Very good. I posted about it not once but twice. I, like <laughs> I put out another song called "Heaven." Um, before that's that. the one I'm talking about. Heaven. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Feel bad's um, great too. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I mean, just been doing music, and obviously, you're killing it right now on your new show. You're kind. Hey, yeah, hey. it's been fun. Yeah, we got really lucky that we got to finish the season before. I know. I know, because so many shows I know got shut down, but um, yeah, it's like dream job. Dream yeah, job. you've said, you've said dream you've like been really loving it. Yeah, it it's, was just one of those reminders of... I genuinely love what I do. And I, yeah. it, was, it was one of those things where I had specifically written down certain things in a journal years ago about what I would want my dream job to be. And about more than half of them are included in Katie Keene. So oh, wow. manifesting is real. I love that um, because you're yeah. getting to sing a little bit, right? I you get to sing a little bit. I mean, I'm not the singer of the show, but they're, it's kind of like a, a, a fantasy New York that you build up in your head. So sometimes we just bust out into song. Um, That's but great. it's, yeah, it's, it's fun. I get to sing, it's film New York and the people are lovely and, um, yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, oh, that's right. You came out to New York recently and we were trying to link up together. Yeah, we were. Yeah. I was only there for like two days, so we didn't get to, but. No, um, next time. Next time. But now we're, now we're here. No, we're here. Now we're talking yeah. on Instagram. Live. How long have you been doing the, this? I've been doing these for a couple weeks now. Um, like someone every day? Yeah, yeah. It's been fun. I mean, I just started. You know it. so many famous people? <laughs> <laughs> you do. I was like, that's a pretty good lineup. Hey, you know. Hey. Um, no, it's it's nice. I mean, it's been a great thing to, like, have every day to look forward to. And, like, yeah, it's I, busy. any chance I can, like, prop people up that I'm a fan of, I'm – I love it. Down, and obviously you're one of those people. Um, and also, we just have really fun history together. We sure do. <laughs> I got I to see. <laughs> Thinking what? of this funny story, back to jump back to American Juniors for a second. Like, so I don't know if like you did anything like this, but I the first couple weeks I was singing a lot of ballads on the show, like mm -hmm. you know a lot of just like you know, sir with love. It, well, no, that was that was actually. Grace Lear. Oh, who's on American who's Idol? Who's on American Idol right now? How wild is that? I know. So Good for her. go Grace. Oh, I thought that was you. No, that wasn't you. Yeah, Can't I, hurry mean, love I was sang you. like this Carpenter song and like um anyway, 
I, I feel like at one point they were like, okay, because we didn't get to choose our songs. Like no. the, the producers chose them for us. So yeah. I think at one point they, because I was, I had never done anything like this. So I was like a little bit stiff on stage. Like, <laughs> You know, kind of slow. We were, like, we were also children. We were also children who were yeah. all of a sudden thrust on a national TV. Um, yeah. But one week they finally gave me a more up tempo song, and like Drew, my brother, was like, okay, like, Caitlin, you need to like amp it up a little bit on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and so Drew literally, like, in our hotel, because we all stayed in the hotel room. Yeah. Or in a hotel together. Yeah. And so Drew at one point comes in and he's like, okay, Caitlin, like, we need to work on some choreography. I did. I did. He, he was and your choreographer. He, like, choreographed my performance. Of course he did. Wait, for what song? For On the Radio. <gasps> like that you you were so good in that performance i remember and it's i know and then like, we need to uh, thank drew it's we need to thank drew like I, i'm gonna see if i can pull up the one move that was really drew's <laughs> handiwork <laughs> so like <laughs> And then it kicks in. Oh, there's mom. All right, so he's like, now do a, a little, little touch and step. tap, a little hip slap. And then get ready oh. for the big move. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that, but that was a one, two, three. And I mean, that, that, that sealed reverse. the deal for me, I think. That's great. Yeah, that's that was fully really rehearsed before. I cannot by Drew. So, oh my gosh. I mean, it wasn't enough to get me in the group, Drew, but you know, it, it did help. It was kind of a turning point for me in the competition. Yeah, I mean, it's memorable for me. I actually do remember. I remember. Um, I always thought you were so comfortable on stage, and I remember <laughs> I always wanted to pee my pants before I would perform. I still get like that singing. I just like want to crawl in a hole it is scary yeah um, no you're a natch did you did you you're have any girl. do you have any behind the american junior if you can remember because it was so long ago because it was was it just you and your mom and, and your sister it was my it was just my mom and i okay yeah um i remember <laughs> i remember <laughs> i remember a bunch but yeah. i remember there was this one like that's when I got it like chat rooms were a big thing like yes. there were American Junior chat rooms so we yes. could all like perform and then get on and this is when our self-esteem my self-esteem started to just crumble for a bit <laughs> yeah those <laughs> just kidding but not really brutal. okay so so we would get on we would perform and then it would air and we'd get on these chat rooms and be like what do people think about us and yeah. I remember there was this girl who was pretending to be Lindsay Lohan it could have been Lindsay Lohan, but this, this fake or maybe slash real Lindsay Lohan hated me. She oh. hated Lucy Hale and American Juniors and would just, and at the time I didn't know that there were fake celebrities who would, who people would pretend to be celebrities. So I'm like, why does right. Lindsay Lohan hate me? And she was so cool at the time. And so I remember oh I was just damaged oh, no. because of Lindsay Lo fake Lindsay Lohan. Um, I'm trying to remember. I remember we would always go to Cold Stone Creamery. Always. I remember I gained like 10 pounds that summer. Um, <laughs> well, how could we not? We were like yeah. by the Cheesecake Factory, by Cold Stone, by this like diner. By the Beverly Center. Get, yeah. Pancakes had every night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also remember who were the judges? They were Debbie Gibson, Gladys Knight. And then a guest and judge every week. Nick Carter, right? Well, it was a guest judge every week. They would change them out, remember? Oh, Okay. It Got was it. like Justin Guarini. Uh, oh, we love Justin Guarini. Where is he now? Oh, wait. He's doing a lot of Broadway. Oh, good for him. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, so Justin Guarini, um, Dion Warwick. Casual. There are all these people we didn't appreciate then, but now I mean, we're like, oh, no big deal. Gladys Knight I know. clapped for us. Well, who else, who else were some of the judges? Like someone from New Kids on the Block. Robbie, N Brian McKnight. Brian McKnight was one, yeah. which is insane. Yeah. That's I mean, insane. he's not for New Kids on the Block, yeah. but he was a judge on the show. Yeah. Um, and I also remember, like, I mean, this might be an annoying thing to say, but 
when I was 13, I'd pretty much look like I do now. And every week I'd get up there and sort of be like, sing my song and people would be like well if this doesn't work out you should model no i remember and i was also <laughs> jealous of that because they would always be like she's so beautiful right. she's it's so like pretty not really, it's not a you, bad and thing you are and you were <laughs> it's not a bad thing to be told but you would just be like means. but like at some yeah. point i was like can i even sing well like <laughs> <laughs> it definitely looking back was probably not great for our uh emotional or like to do that so young so yeah he's at like but, 13. You know, um, but overall, once again it's 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 worked out so oh yeah. yeah um but yeah it was it i i really did enjoy my experience and i and i love when people have seen the show and are like i yeah. remember you from american juniors i'm like ogs oh, yeah you are truly an og yeah um, which is always super fun good times yeah i mean maybe we could look i have this little question box maybe i'll see if oh. there's any fun questions that any people Chris jones um let's see you know these are i, I should have said send in you're like questions. you're like yeah no <laughs> <laughs> um lucy what color socks on today black <laughs> oh Black Hanes. Yeah, how are, you, how are you doing? Um, oh, that's what I was going to ask. How are you? How are you? <laughs> how yeah, are we, we should have maybe started with that. Um, yeah. I'm okay. Uh, you know, it's it's weird. Yeah. And yeah. I had a tour lined up that I was getting ready to go on. Oh, with, man. Um, which was going to be really fun because... You know, I, I've released music over the past couple of years, which has been great, but mm -hmm. I haven't gotten to like do a proper tour. Mm -hmm. um, so that was, I was really looking forward to that. But, yeah. you know. But I know it's just one of those things we have to remember that it's just what we have to do for everyone and things will do. go back to normal. It's temporary. I literally will go throughout the day just saying it's temporary, it's temporary. Cause this last week, I think it, it hit a lot of people. Yeah. Like the first couple of weeks, you know, anyone can, anyone can get through it. But I think yeah. this last week was a really pivotal turning point for a lot of people. Yeah. There's just a weird vibe, weird energy. I was really sad last week, but well, yeah, because I feel like it was like, oh, okay, this is for sure going till May 15th. Yeah. Which I think we all saw coming, but when it was like official, it was like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, month. <laughs> I know. But, um, but have you been like trying anything new? Like, I mean, I, I have more. actually, I, uh, <laughs> what, like, I, yeah, um, what doing? I taught myself to cross stitch. I actually really enjoy it. You um, did? yeah, I taught myself to cross stitch. I've been, uh, I mean, I, mean, I think everyone's kind of been working out. I've been trying like new workouts, yeah. getting back into running. Ooh. Um, but I just bought a keyboard because yes. I don't know if I'll commit to it or not, but I bought a keyboard off Amazon and I bought some painting stuff nice. and I bought an adult coloring book and I've been cooking quite a bit. Nice. So, and it sounds like that's really productive, but yesterday I, or a couple of days ago, I slept 18 hours out of 24. So it <laughs> kind of varies, you know, it's a good balance. You what know, about you? What have you been doing? It really is. I, I have like, I've been, I have a lot of high hopes Mm -hmm. Um, and then, yeah, I just end up kind of sitting around. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, I've been but I'm doing... glad you're with, I'm glad you're with family. Yeah. I with think family, which helps yeah. a ton. I'm not alone. And I've been doing these every day, which have been really fun. Kind of keep yeah. me busy and focus on something. Yeah. Yeah. And I put out a song a couple weeks ago and I'm going to put out another one. So I'm getting that ready. And, um, yeah. I, we have been cooking a lot, which has been, fun and we've like read i've like rediscovered some like that i'm obsessed with pancakes and i, I think pancakes yesterday i, I think pancakes. everyone's making pancakes because i went to the store mm -hmm. and there isn't any mix have you heard about this whipped coffee trend no but i've seen people doing that what okay it that? looks delicious i want to get a recipe i'll let you know how it goes Is it, it just looks like the yeah. it all looks like the foam of a cappuccino right I don't know. I don't quite understand yet, but yeah, I like, like is this coffee whipped cream? Like, I mean, I, mean, I, if it is, I will tell you my diet's completely gone out the window. Yeah. It's just impossible. No. I need to eat something green. No, I can feel it. 
I, I can feel like my body's like, why are you doing this to us? <laughs> <laughs> no, why? and I've also, like, next level on the pancakes, I've discovered that they are especially good if you cook them in bacon grease. Of course they are. Well, of course. <laughs> and so just a little hot My little tip. southern girl. Hi, tip for everybody. My southern is coming grease. out. It's coming back with yeah. vengeance um yeah. but no for, like being with my family has kind of brought my accent back a little bit yeah people are like wait are you southern and i'm like yeah but yeah. why do you notice all of a sudden yeah um, it always comes out when i talk to my family or when i'm around my family i know when i go home to memphis it kind of will creep in yeah i still say y'all though and people will give me stares yeah, but I feel like y'all's kind of made a comeback with everybody. Just with everyone, yeah. yeah. It just sounds better. It's, yeah. it's easier. I've, I've brought back y'all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just easier. It's easier. You know. Um, oh, man. Well, Luce. Kate, I thanks, miss you. I wish I could hug you through on. the phone. Oh. I love you so much, and I'm so proud of you. And I like, you're one of the people I'm like, yeah, she's my friend for life. <laughs> for Absolutely. sure I mean, all we, of you guys tell your mom and dad hi. tell amanda and jake and um drew hello i will and once this is over we'll have some pancakes and bacon grease exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's like wow um yeah. well, thanks for doing this um, i'm gonna also, watch this every day by the way <laughs> i know what i'm doing too. at noon every day yeah. please do Yay. i hope the cross stitching goes well and the keyboard thanks, girl. i mean you have an amazing voice. You guys all saw it here. You all saw it. Okay. And also, you're an amazing dancer. You're, I'm an amazing dancer. You're an amazing dancer. We're both amazing dancers. That's definitely a hobby we should pick back up. <laughs> yeah, it's never happening. <laughs> uh, have, you been, um, have you stooped to try any TikTok dances? Okay, so I already spend so much time on my phone that yeah. I knew that if I got a TikTok, I don't think I'd ever make the videos because I just feel too ridiculous, but I love watching them. Yeah. And so I'll, people will always send me the TikTok videos and um, sometimes I get uncomfortable watching them. Some of them are so silly that I want to, I, I get so much secondhand embarrassment. Yeah. yeah. But there are some good ones, but there I knew are. that if I downloaded it on my phone, it would just be game over. So. Well, hey, you know, never say never because we have a couple more weeks of this. Talk to me next week. <laughs> Everyone look out for Lucy's TikTok. Watch out, guys. TikTok. Um, But yes, everyone watch new episode this week, right? Oh, yeah. We have a new episode on Thursday. Thanks for that. Yes. Which is exciting. Exciting. Everybody check it out. And thanks thanks for coming on, going down there. Of course. American Juniors forever. That was fun. American Juniors forever. (laughs) Miss you too. And I hope you stay soon. Yes, ma'am. All right. right. Everybody stay safe. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye. I don't know how to get out. I'll get you out. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lucy Hale, for joining me today. That was fun. A lot of, uh, lot of mems with Lucy. Um, yeah, if, if you guys haven't seen American Juniors or heard of it, it's all on YouTube. So it's a fun deep dive to go on um, because, you know, a real moment in time so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that uh thanks again to lucy for coming on that was really fun and another episode down episode i'm calling these episodes now wow <laughs> um yeah so check out katie Kane this week a new episode and binge the show if you haven't already and obviously lucy's the best and um has so many so many successes to her name and she's just amazing. So we love her and love you guys. Thanks for coming back and watching again today. I have two more episodes this week um, with Josie down tomorrow and then Kevin Garrett on Friday, which should be super fun. So come back and watch those at noon or no, sorry, today's Tuesday. Tomorrow I'll be going live at 3 p.m. Um, kind of playing a couple songs and talking about Songland, um, which should be fun. So 3 p.m. tomorrow, and then Josie Dunn, Kevin Garrett on Thursday and Friday, which I'm super excited about. <clears throat> so, yeah. All right. Thanks for coming and watching today. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow.